I am Dr. Navarro, director and founder of the Ben Treatment Center in Manhattan, and today we are going to inject and remove the veins in the dorsum of the hand on Camille. Okay, and uh, we have Camille, and this is going to be our live patient on there. So if you want to just, you know, tell us a little bit about why you decided to come in for this procedure. Um, I believe the appearance of uh, varicose veins in the hand, uh, unsightly, and uh, it's an easy procedure, and uh, from what I know, with great results. Awesome. Usually, as we age, we age, we lose water content of the skin. We use elasticity of the skin and of the veins on the dorsum of the hand. We use fat, so the veins become much more prominent. And after 40, 50, 60, they really become pretty prominent. The face look great, but then the, the hands, you know, need some help. So if you want to go ahead and just get started with the procedure. Absolutely. First we'll lay the patient down. The procedure is very simple. We just inject uh, the, these veins with the solution that slowly will irritate the vein and will make the vein disappear. I will use a magnifying lens and polarized light so we can see the vein very clearly. And I will use a solution that typically used for veins. This solution will uh, irritate the vein, dry the vein, and the vein will be reabsorbed and will disappear. Going in. And so we'll, we'll keep injecting all the veins on both hands. We'll do one hand first, then we'll put a cloth that she will wear until tomorrow morning, and then we'll do the other hand. And usually it requires from one to three treatments, depending on the amount of veins that you have, the size of the veins, and how you heal. Some people heal very fast. Some people it takes a little bit uh, more for them to heal. So, what type of injections are you doing to the hands today? Uh, what's, that's typical sclerotherapy. That's the injection of a chemical compound that irritates the inner lining of the leg, of the vein, so that the vein collapses and the body reabsorbs the vein. And the, vein, and the blood is rerouted to the deep to the deep system of veins, deep in the hand. So that's called sclerotherapy. It's basically painless, as you can see. 
the results are excellent. In one to three times, the, the veins will disappear completely. And how that's the, yes? Oh, uh, just how many vein, um, how many hand vein removal procedures do you perform in a week? In a week, I will say from six to ten. So this is something that's, you know, Pretty really common. popular. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. lately, it's been become more popular. People have been uh, become aware of it that it can be done. And uh, most people are, most uh, ladies after 60, they will prefer to have the, the veins removed. Question from one of our viewers. Yes. Alexandra would like to know after removal, how long do the effects last? Does the vein come back after a certain time or is it gone forever? Uh, usually they don't. Occasionally we see somebody uh, with, with the veins reappear. We'll take, it usually is about after five or seven years, but most, I would say 80 to 90 percent of the time, they're gone forever. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so now we'll put the cream. And how are you doing, Camille? How's Great. the pain? Any? No pain. Just a little pinch. Normally, for the sclerotherapy in the legs, the legs are much more sensitive. We use the cold machine and we use some. Uh, mechanical stimulation, so to make sure you don't feel any pain. In the hands, it's not necessary, because uh, the hands usually... are much less sensitive. You know, we, we bang them, they're exposed to cold water, they're exposed to everything. So what was the lotion that you just put on their hands? Uh, it's a steroid, a steroid, an anti-inflammatory cream so that uh, you, know, you don't develop small little points of, in, of like a mosquito bites in the presence of the injection. Just put it once and that's all. Marguerite wants to know what this procedure is called. Uh, that's called sclerotherapy of the veins on the back of the hand, the dorsum of the hand. And does this vein removal work on all skin types? Yes, absolutely. Usually what, m what makes uh, a hand look old or advanced in age is number one, the veins. Number two, uh, age spots, which you don't have any. And number three, sometimes the loss of muscle and fat in between the tendons, which you don't have much either. So first you need to take care of all the veins. Once the, the veins are all gone, if you have any age spots, that they can be taken care of later, easily. And then, if after all that is done, the hands look very, very thin, with very prominent tendons, then you can put a little bit of a filler in between, so that they go back young. How would this uh, procedure work on legs, or would it work? Very well, and very extremely well. That's what we do all day long. <laughs> Uh, and we can take the spider veins, we can take the um, small and mid-sized veins, and we can take care of the big veins. Uh, this procedure is used for spider veins, small veins, and mid-sized veins. And we use a cold machine there, and we use a mechanical stimulation. And uh, that, we numb the skin so that the pain sensation cannot go through. And normally, in a, in a in a visit, we'll give you 40 to 80 injections, and you will not feel them. You'll feel maybe two or three, that's all. Now, when the veins are a little bit bigger, too, everything is done in the office, too. Surgery on the leg veins is not performed any longer. We pass a laser fiber inside of the vein, and with laser energy, we, we seal the vein. Local anesthesia, 20 minutes, go back to work. Okay. So, one, one hand done. Now, she will keep this hand here for a few minutes. We'll start with the other one. Okay.
that's the solution. Okay, gentle fist. Cindy? Jam, make sure it spreads not the superficial ones. Open. <coughs> it usually have very no no usually no black and blue or minimal black and blue. And uh, usually we'll see you in uh, two weeks. Then we'll keep going to second treatment if necessary in another two weeks to the third treatment. Uh, one of our viewers wants to know what the primary cause of hand veins are. The first treatment, $1,000, the second and third treatment, 500 each. And, and what causes these, these veins? Aging process, the loss of uh, water in the, on the skin, the loss of elasticity of the skin and the vein wall, the loss of fat and the muscle tissue, so they become more prominent. And do scars follow after this procedure? No, absolutely not. <laughs> None. Yes. Okay, gentle fist. What are some tips you have for preventing hand veins from forming? Um, no, you cannot. That's part of the aging process. The thing is that once you see them and they start uh, bothering you cosmetically, then have them taken care of. Uh, and have them taken care of the veins with sclerotherapy. You know, or some, some people can, you can use maybe the, a laser from inside the vein, but that's very, the best is just injection of the veins. Don't try to cover the veins with fat, because what some uh, then you have a deformed hand and the veins will be there. So you take care of the veins with the sclerotherapy, with injections. Take care of the age spots with the laser, with, through, the skin, through the skin laser. And then, if you have a very thin hand, then you can inject some filler or fat. Okay. Gentle fist. Okay. And do you want to let um, our viewers know where you're located? Yeah, we are located at uh, 327 East 65 Street in Manhattan. That's 65 between 1st and 2nd. We've been here for maybe 25 or 30 years on time, we're the best, uh, the, the, the first vein treatment center, I would say, on the East Coast, maybe, <laughs> there would maybe one on the West Coast, or one on the East Coast, and, and uh, we've been doing hands for the last 20 something years. Now people start to know about it, but uh, there were only two people in the whole country doing veins on the hands. Now many people do them, but uh, we need to make sure that they're done uh, frequently. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, what age uh, do these hand veins start forming? What age? It depends on the person. If the person is very skinny or not, you know, how much cutaneous fat, uh, you know, how, how uh, he has taken care of their skin. But usually, I would say, uh, mid to late, mid 50s. So on the 50s is when people become aware. Of course, there are some people that uh, they have been born with, uh, with very big veins. They are young, they are 25 or 30, and uh, they already have very big veins. But that, and then we, we take care of them, of course. Uh, the other thing is that sometimes professional athletes, uh, people that really do work a lot with the hands, uh, they tend to have more prominent veins, which we can take care of. 
we put the cream, the anti-inflammatory cream. Now we put the glove, which will rest a few minutes, mm -hmm. and that will be it for today. Then in two weeks we'll see it. She will take the gloves tomorrow morning. No restrictions. We'll see it in a couple of weeks, and that's it. Are there any side effects for this procedure? Usually no. Maybe more black and blue, less. It will, it will work, uh, you know, in one treatment or two or three, or maybe we will need even four. So, but uh, the complications are minimal to non-existent. As you can see, she <laughs> is not painful at all. Now I'll make a, make sure that it's not too tight. Make a little decision here. So why is this a better option compared to getting filler in the hands? Because in filler, you're not taking care of the veins. You're just uh, puffing the back of the the back of the hand, and the, but the veins still will be there. So you have a puffy hand and the veins there. And as soon as the filler start uh, disappearing because after they disappear with uh, uh, with time, the, the veins uh, will be popping, and you don't want a deformed hand. Uh, you know, so if you have a box that's gloved, you know, to try to hide the veins, the veins you treat the veins. Does this procedure cause the body to make more veins for circulation? No, absolutely not. Uh, no, that's purely local, and uh, so it doesn't. Uh, what we do, it's just uh, we take care of these veins. The blood will flow through the deep system, you know, the, the hands we have two, two, two veins, superficial veins that we see, and deep veins that are in between the muscle, close to the bone. So when we close these, these veins, the blood will flow directly through the deep system. And if someone's looking to get this procedure done, what kind of qualifications do they want from their um, doctor? Well, somebody who deals with veins, and somebody who does hand, hand veins regularly, absolutely. You know, the, sometimes the, but it looks the simplest, you know, it's, uh, it's more complex to do. And how long, again, will this procedure last? Or the, how uh, long usually, will the results usually last? Usually the results are in 80-90% of the patients for life. Now, when we see occasionally somebody that it was done, usually it's five or seven years uh, later. But, so, you know, but most, most patients, we've been there for 20-25 years, so most patients for life, we, you know, we treat that something else, leg veins. Leg veins tend to recur, you need because of the gravity of the pressure of the blood from the heart to the, in which they can, uh, they turn, uh, they tend to come back uh, later. So we will see patients with the leg veins, we need, we will see them two years later, three, four, five years later, but not the hand veins, the, not the face veins either. Once you, once they can cure off, gone. Are there Since any other places you can get this injection? Uh, yes, we do a lot of the f on the face. You see, uh, around the uh, temple area, we do in the breast. Sometimes, you know, you do, you after uh, augmentation mammoplasty or after having children, you uh, you develop a lot of superficial veins on the breast, so we take care of that, and we do the hands, and then the rest, of course, is the is the legs. Occasionally, you have a vein in the uh, belly, or you have a vein in the back, but that's very very exceptional. Normally, it's the, the legs, you know, and the hands now. And how are you feeling, Camille? How was oh, it? great. How was the procedure for you? Painless. Okay. Hands are very resilient. Hands, you, know, you see, you wash them with cold water and hot water, and you bang them, you know, so that, that they, a needle doesn't mean much for that. Yeah. And so what's going to happen uh, when you take the bandages off when she comes back? I think the bandages off, she will, most, of, most of the veins will be gone. Some of them will be a little, look like the vein is there, but the vein is already closed with what we call trap blood. And, uh, you know, maybe a little bit of black and blue, but usually it's not an issue. Okay. Are there any pictures I can show them? Absolutely, or? yeah. What?
Uh, I don't know, can we? Yeah, that's good. Before and after. Yes? Mm-hmm. This one, regular patients, non retouch okay? And you said this is only one to three? Treatments? One to three treatments, yes. I would say one, maybe 20%, uh, two, another 20, 30, uh, the rest three treatments. Occasionally somebody, maybe four. And this isn't going to cause any less circulation, will it? No. No, that's just we take care of veins that are very superficial veins that have a, uh, very little significance as blood carrying capacity. As many as you want. You go to our website, you'll see 50 of them. But the results are spectacular, as you can see. And uh, what's your website for anyone that's interested? Uh, veintreatmentcenter.com. Yeah, and we'll leave you that in the You need to be comments. careful because they are with Dr. Navarro, and uh, you know there are many people with similar names. Veintreatmentcenter.com. Well, I think that's it. If you guys have any more questions, we'll stay on for maybe mm -hmm. like a minute more. No, because uh, from our part, thank you very much. Hopefully, it's been informative. Hopefully, you'll have a great result at the norm. Okay, well, for uh, Women's World, this is it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.